the Los Angeles Rams. Head coach Sean McVay, of course. They uh, Their win total sits at 10.5. To go under is minus 105. To go under is minus 125. To win the division... You just said under twice. But to go over is minus 105. To go under is minus 125. Sorry. Thank you. To win the division, they are plus 200. That is number two. In this le- or in this uh, division here, to win the NFC, they are plus six hundred. To make the playoffs, yes is minus one eighty. No is plus one fifty. They are projected favorites in thirteen out of seventeen games, and their projected strength of schedule number twenty three, just one better than the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, that is what the, was the, what was the team total number again? I'm sorry. Team total is a uh, ten and a half for the Rams. Ten and a half. They uh, they have had three. Overs on their win totals in the last four seasons. Definitely good. McVay won despite Goff. I'm curious the upgrade to Stafford, what that's going to do for the offense. Even with Goff, they outgained 14 of 18 opponents in 2020. They had the number one defense, uh, the only team that gave up less than 300 yards a ball game on average, which is ridiculous last season. Finished number two. In adjust, or sorry, number 12 in adjusted games lost due to injury. Normally would say, you know, regression. I'm sorry, I wrote that down wrong. It is number two. Number two in adjusted games lost due to injury last season. I would say that there would be a regression that they should stay healthier this season than they did last year. However, before last season, they finished number one, number eight, number four, number one, number one. They have lost so many games to injury over the past like six, seven years. I don't even know how to quantify that. I don't know how that's even possible. We talked about the uh, the Washington football team forever and their medical staff not being able to keep teams healthy or keep guys healthy. These guys have been terrible at it. Like I, I don't I don't even know what to say about that. They lost their star defensive coordinator Brandon Staley last year. He's obviously a head coach over on the other side of town. They lost multiple position coaches. I don't know that it necessarily matters. Sean McVay might just be a god, and it is what it is. They were number one in EPA per play defense. Number five in EPA gained uh, per turnover. And their double-digit win totals, other than the Patriots, have only gone 45% over. So a 10.5 here, people really think that Matt Stafford is going to be it for them. At looking at their schedule, I, I don't know how great this defense is going to be this season. I think last year was not an anomaly, but... I do think that the defense is going to take a little bit of a step back. And if they stay a little bit healthier, then yeah, they can have absolutely win 11 games. But I think I'm going to go under based on principle. I think, you know, 10 and 7 here. Stafford isn't always the healthiest guy, and he's older. I could totally see Matt Stafford getting hurt and them having to scramble to figure out something. I'm going to go under the 10 and a half at minus 125 because I just, I, while, it, while it looks pretty on paper, without Cam Akers, the running back, and expecting some kind of a regression back to the means on defense, I that's that's the way I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to go over. I think this team is better. I do think you're right. The defense will take a step back. The offense will take a massive step forward. Regardless of what you think of Stafford and Stafford's availability, Stafford is substantially better than Jared Goff, and it's not close. Yes. It's just not. This offense is not going to look anything like this offense has looked for the last three years. Or four years, however long that that McVeigh has been there, it, it won't look the same. It'll look so different. It's not going to matter. Losing Cam Akers, don't not care. really going to matter. Don't yeah. care. I just work under an assumption that they're going to find somebody like C.J. Anderson the year they made a su- Super Bowl run, who hadn't played football in a year and a half and stick his fat ass behind the line, and he led <laughs> all the teams in playoff in rushing every week. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just work under an assumption that Sean's going to figure that out. Birdie That's- said it would be hard to make a win bet here, in my opinion. They are so dependent on Whitworth's health. If he goes down there in trouble, they've got no O-line depth at all. I, they don't have a lot of depth hardly anywhere. No, like, but my, the issue is, is you just, lines just don't scare me anymore. I've seen really good teams play with bad offensive line, and it's just the way you uh, zone block and the way you can scheme around a bad offensive line, it might be the easiest thing to scheme around than than any other position, like losing major pieces on. As long as you have a healthy center, I, th- I think you can figure it out with, with just playing from shotgun, running nothing but short slants and screens and, and things like that, putting a lot of guys in motion. I, I just think there's a way to, to slow down that pass rush. 
that these guys know about. So yeah, you, it, and it used anybody, to be a thing that scared me to death, and now I've seen teams with great offensive line still blow, and I've seen teams with shit offensive line do really good. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah at some point in time, I got to figure out maybe it's not as important as I've been taught my entire life. Yeah, I, if there's anybody that would be able to scheme it, you know, obviously I think that we both trust Sean McVay to be able to do that. So if anybody was going to be able to do it, I would trust him. But this is, you know, it's a roster with some older guys. And I don't know. I, I'm basically betting that they don't stay healthy all season. That's, <laughs> that's, that's my bet because I don't think they got depth uh, hardly anywhere. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.